Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. So this over here is a return label that we got sent. And the problem is the return label is designed for 8.5 by 11 inch paper. But the shipping station at this point in time, it will have that printer soon. We will have a proper full size printer. But right now, all I have is the taped up Rolo because of the, um, the paper container tray they have and uh, the, the Pepe bondage zebra printer over here. So if you try to print this label, which is what the shipping clerk just did, you essentially wind up with this. Ready? He drew this and put it on his head, so I figured it was about time for somebody else to come over and try and figure this out. This is obviously meant for a different type of paper. So now we must go through the process of figuring out how to make this print properly, which is what we are going to do uh, right here. So let's see. We're gonna ch what if we do fit to paper, and the paper is going to be the user-defined paper that that printer comes with, and we hit print. Let's try this one. So that also doesn't work. That's him right there, by the way. He's running away. He's running away. He's running away. Okay, so we're gonna. Ch <coughs> Let's try something different here. That this is obviously meant for eight and a half by eleven inch paper. So I am gonna use the Windows snipping tool, and then we are gonna put this into Microsoft Paint and try to modify it so that I could print it. So we're gonna use the snip tool right here. Snip. Watch this. Yeah. See, Patrick? Solutions. We have solutions. Do this. We're going to snip it. And then we're going to print the snip. We're going to make sure that the paper is set to the proper stock of paper. 4x6. Bam. Set, or no, no that, that's, not, that's not 4 by 6 inches. That's speed and density. Okay, the paper is going to be, should I actually forgot how to measure that in millimeters. Patrick, what's four by six inches in millimeters? <laughs> Patrick, what's four by six inches in millimeters? Orhan, what's four by six inches in millimeters? Kevin, what's four by six inches in millimeters? Come on, somebody help me out here. Four by six inches in millimeters. Okay, it takes the European to figure this out. Yes, four by six inches in millimeters. In millimeters? Yes. Not in freedom units. Four point. Oh wait, I, I was I was actually choosing the wrong printer. Never mind. I was using the. <laughs> I chose the wrong printer. That's why I was showing me that. I need to choose the ship station zebra, not the repair shop Arolo. No, wait, wait. Okay, look. This uses freedom units. Okay, here we go. So with four, the height is set to 38 inches, which is why is it set to 38 inch height? I don't know, dude. I don't know what kind of. This lies about the paper more than I lie about my dick size on a Friday night. Okay, so hit OK. Hit print. Okay, what do you think is gonna pop out? Look. Okay, that, that, that's close. That's close. That's not... Okay, that's almost there. Okay, that's actually very close. Dangerously close, actually. Okay, so let's... Preferences. Watch this, Patrick. Okay, we're gonna set it to 4 by 6 again. Not 36, 38 inch height. Uh -huh. Okay. Son of a... Actually, wait, do you need the right side of the label that much? Like, what's in the... Oh, never mind. Yeah, that's the barcode. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. We're going to get... We're going to get it. We're going to get it. Just to see what... <laughs> okay. Four... By six... Portrait. Now we need to set it to fit... There's usually a setting to fit it to the paper that you're using. What? <laughs> it's very that funny. Was so <laughs> it's very tempting. <laughs> okay. Advance. Wait. Okay. Uh, what if I put this in a Microsoft Paint and do it there? Okay, we go. Because I think Paint allows print uh, fit to page or something like that. Listen, it's not about how hard it should be. It's about reality. Life is not supposed to be this difficult. But it is. Okay. 
Delete this label from there. I'm gonna paste it into paint. Okay, print. Ship station zebra, four by six inch. Oh, hmm. The setting to fit it. Wait, wait, where's that setting I saw before where you could like fit to page, or was that just was when I was using in the web browser? It was custom and you made, it made it your own. Yeah, this, this looks shitty. Okay, never mind. Paint makes it really small. Okay, so he, yeah, I don't, hmm. If I have too much space in between there and there, if I put this side by side with that, it may not scan properly. Okay. Wait, so what if we take the one that I snipped? Is there a way to like. What if I snip it a little bit closer? Because I think I snipped it with a little bit too much in the left and the right. See that? There's too much in the left and the right. <laughs> Don't post this video, man. <laughs> Why not? What's wrong with posting this video? It shows people. person in the comments. It working. shows people that we have problem solving capabilities, that we don't give up here. Monkey strong together. I'm telling you, man. Some dude's going to say, oh, you're supposed to. There's, a, there's, the a, there's a checkbox that I'm missing. Set it to Wumbo. That's what you did. Yes. yes. <laughs> Probably. Okay, here, let's go. Right, next one. E oh. oh! It worked. I just had to snip it a little bit closer. Look at, okay, look, it works. Look at how easy that was. Okay, it doesn't look perfect, but it'll scan. Eh? <laughs> Problem solving. Pain. It's pain. It's all pain. <laughs> this shit really does suck. And then I'm gonna spend 20 minutes troubleshooting you this see, piece of shit. It's, it's not me. It, I, like, I say that like, oh, I'm stupid because I can't figure out the, the printer thing. But like, it just, it refuses to work. <laughs> the th this printer switched itself back from the Rolo driver to the Microsoft IPP driver for yeah. no good reason. Nobody yes. here went into the Windows settings and changed this from Rolo back to IPP. But it did it, and then it just stopped working. And it just gives you error. It doesn't. It didn't actually say in the settings earlier. It didn't say the error is because the driver reverted itself for no good reason. It just gives you error for no good reason. And then the troubleshooter says, you may want to try setting it as your default printer because that'll fix it. The Windows printer troubleshooter was designed by, in my opinion, bad people. I was set up to fail from the very beginning. That's what happened. That's what happens when you work at this company. Okay. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. That is how you print. An eight and a half inch by eleven inch shipping label on four by six inch printer paper when you have no idea how to operate a printer. <laughs> like nobody. <laughs> Look, it looks awesome. Dan is the ex chief shipping clerk. Is this not a good, good, good label? Look at it. Look at the DPI on this. Look at the clarity. You could almost make that out. You could almost make out the number at the bottom if you squint a little bit. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something. Don't post that. Why not? It could be one good reason. Don't post that. Wait. Why? The only videos I have, you have of me on your channel are associated with pain. <laughs> me just being upset with like it's not the, being able to make shit work. It's the reality of the misery of working for an asshole. A whole video dedicated. And he was even troubleshooting it and fucking it up on camera, too. Yes. He's like, it's not going either. I got it on the fifth try. If it works, it works. That's how we learn border pair. It's one of those things where you spend five minutes on, you get so fucking frustrated because every change you do either does nothing or completely it, fucks it up. Realistically speaking, this should not be this much of a pain in the dick. But Which, hey, look, like I said, I tried, and it started to do the thing again where I started seeing red. I was like, I'm going to make a change. It's going to, like, either blow it up completely or do nothing, and I'm going to keep doing that for, like, 10, 15 minutes, and it's just going to make me really mad. A lot of the marks that you see in this printer were for me punching it because of frustration with this. Are you still and they recording? Say, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn it. Pain. It's all pain. <laughs> No happy, just all pain, all sad.